So sometimes I just need a snack and I know you do too. So I like to grab my favorite smoke flavor, Brunswick tuna, yeah? And just get it on some nice crackers. Maybe a little sip of something to drink. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. If you didn't know, tuna is a really good source of lean protein. So for all you keto dieters out there, this is your friend. But for the busy people, this is a quick, easy snack. And I'm just gonna show you how I make mine. While my tuna is draining off the excess oil, I'm very quickly gonna make my mayo. Two lovely egg yolks. Little mustard. Some lime juice. Well, in this case, lemon. Let's give it a good squeeze. A little salt. A little pepper. And we're locked in. Fresh meal is really, really, really nice. Start it on low. Turn that on. Start pouring and then we can turn it up to high. Yes. So it's gonna add a little character to your mid-afternoon tuna snack. Nice and steady, almost there. And as it just changes from that deep yellow color of the yolk into that lovely white that we associate with mayo, everything starts to thicken up and we're pretty much there. So you're using raw egg yolks, but you would know that your lime juice would help to mitigate against that rawness. Lime juice or any citric acid starts to cook anything that marinates in it or that it's added to. So you always have to be very careful uh, when you're using it. So let me get my blade out. And I'm just gonna take a few spoonfuls to make our snack. Put this in the wash. So there is our freshly made meal. Look at that. In we go. Let's put that there for a minute. Okay, I'm just gonna break it up a bit. Of course, a little hot sauce. And by a little, I mean a lot. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Gonna get some gorgeous, gorgeous uh, sweet peppers. Look at the color on those, yeah? So we make a very colorful snack. I may even share, yes. And I like quite a bit of raw onions. I like the extra bite that it adds. My sister doesn't like it, so the more I put in, the more snap. I mean, <clears throat> I'm sharing, yes. We, did, we had already established this. I apologize. I apologize. So now I'm going to make my paste a little bit. I'm going to break up my tuna a little bit more so it resembles paste more than just individual pieces of tuna in a bowl. So again, that lovely orange, a little red off your red onions. It's got a nice bite to it because of the spice. And I do have the loveliest crackers to put them on. So let's pick these up at Massey this morning. So we're gonna get these on the plate. Yes. So we made our snack. It didn't take us but a minute. So I'm just gonna pop them on my cracker like so 
And isn't it a gorgeous cracker? I like the shape, very different. So let's put that there. Let's make a few more. So quick and easy, and I must say, just the hint of smoke flavor, just it changes this from just a regular everyday snack to something just a little bit more interesting, a little bit more excitement. Why have regular tuna when you can have a nice flavor from Brunswick, when you can have like this smoked? And you can dress it up just a little bit. So maybe you just won't make it for you. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll share as well, okay? I'll make one more and then, I think a nice snack deserves a nice drink. You should treat yourself. Just that you're prepared to treat the rest of the family and anybody who comes over, right? Be nice to yourselves this season. So I'm gonna put that there and that there. And I actually managed to grab these awesome microgreens to finish my look. I know, fancy, right? But they sell right there in the cold section, so I'm just gonna put, yes. Look at that. It's a freshly grown organic microgreens. Some awesome farmer right here in Barbados. And they're just such a nice finishing touch for your afternoon snack. <laughs> as, as my younger cousins always say, you do it for the gram. Make it, make it pretty. And there you have it. Let's make a little, little drink. So, as I said, we need a little beverage to go with this delightful afternoon snack. So let me just grab my ingredients. It's Christmas, so you know somebody dropped some Clayton's over to me. And since sorrel is such an important Barbadian tradition, we're gonna do just a quick, a quick little mix up. So simple. Make our sorrel drink exciting this year. So, sorrel, and in with our Clayton's. I actually like this flavor combination. It's very interesting. It marries very well. They sit together. They add a little mm. In with my Clayton's. And then I bring it up with my fizzy water. In with the soda water. No, it's up to you. There you go. I'm gonna give that a little stir. Not too much, I don't want my bubbles coming out. But yeah, make sure it's all together. No, with or without alcohol. That is up to you. But I do have a little something, something. So we'll just top it off. Grab my glass. Come into a sorrel drink near you, Clayton's Spritzer. <sighs> Refreshing. So, you need a snack, you need it in a hurry, or you just want to take a little time off between all of the things you're doing this season. A little Brunswick, a little Clayton's, and you're golden. Mm. 